Hello my fellow croutons, I'm Mr. Church. Today we're going to be building something a little different than you may have seen. Now you may have beheld the wondrous beauty of some of my hidden camps that we built inside of houses or trailers or uh, inside pre-existing buildings, but today I thought I'd try something well with this hideous thing. Let's first of all hold down on your action button X for PS4, pull it towards you so that you can actually build it inside your camp zone. Now we're going to mush some foundations up against the side of the building, and for those who have been paying attention to some of my previous builds, you know exactly where this is going. But for those who don't, welcome aboard to a favorite trick of mine. I call it cheating. Just kidding. I'm not cheating. I figure there's a lot of floor space that's being wasted. What the fuck? I, okay, there's a lot of floor space that's being wasted with this gigantic doorway. So let's just take back some of our camp space um, and build inside this thing. Why not? So my first initial entryway in here is just to kind of see how things are going to line up. I'll put down some practice foundations, move them around a bit. If they don't clip in, there's they're interfering with some of the stuff. Um, like this thing in the middle here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stuff out of here. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to move uh, this stuff down a little bit. Let's see if we can uh, first get it at the right height that we want it. As long as it's above that weird fake floor that's inside it already, so that we can see the floor when we're in there, we're good. So just snap it, and then go in and check, uh, and we're good. We're well above it. But as you can see, um, it's still side to side. It's not going to line up, so we're going to go out and move it around. This may take you a few shots uh, just to get it perfectly, but it's well worth it. Um, you'll see when we start building in there. But this one you're going to want to line up just inside the end of this side of the structure. Uh, then we're going to go in and double check before we do anything else. Um, yeah, just snappy poo snap. That's my, that's all I can say, you know, but it fits perfectly. Make sure a wall will snap to that without interfering. I'm going to throw down some foundations, kind of see what we have to work with in here. And it looks beautiful, looks not at all terrible in the least. So yeah, that's that's great. Uh, let's put some here and there. Um, and let's head on out. Hello? Thank you. Thank you for heading out. I told you to. So now, my silly little friends, we're going to put down... Uh, some walls here to see, to just to make sure they're going to place without interfering or anything like that. Um, it doesn't matter what walls you put down, we're going to change them out as needed later. Um, but it's important that you're able to place it so that it's facing outside rather than facing inside. And you'll see why in a minute. Um, I'm also going to throw down some walls while we're in here to s make sure none of that is interfering. Um, and uh, make sure we can build. Now, this part here, I like around that gear, I wasn't able to put walls in. We'll probably delete that foundation later. I threw down a one upper floor. Gonna box that in. Um, and uh, this is just to give us a little bit more of a like a kind of a loft thing. But we'll really focus on the inside later. I'm just laying out the general floor plan right now. Floor plan right now. Um, but uh, what you put in here as far as walls go don't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Thank you for that. Um, English correction. Um, because you can't see it from the outside except for this back wall right here. Which um, I'll show you why I did two different walls delete that. Okay, so as you can see, the back does stick out. In either of these options work, I'm not going to keep them both up there. You, If you do wood, then it'll kind of look like you've put wood 
around it kind of like you were doing with our shack if you leave it brick it looks like brick is part of the structural design either works fine just pick one and I'll show you what we're doing out here uh, just this little shack thing after I step on a couple of uh, firecracker berries as is tradition um, just to kind of give myself a little pep in my step if you will we're gonna change these both here to brick and then inside I just deleted that because uh, you can't put a wall around that specific area so I'm just gonna put a glass wall here glass because it'll help open it up in here and it won't feel quite so you know claustrophobic and it also allows us to kind of look at that gear which is really fun and neat um, I'm gonna switch this to a normal concrete uh, because that little corner up there is visible from the outside and I don't want it to be anything that will attract unwanted notice switch these to brick because those are visible on the outside and we're gonna finish up this wall here uh, wherever the fuck the brick is there you are you little bitch and uh, I don't know what this roof dance this is basically a type of rain dance you run around in circles with a roof piece you can't snap down uh, I'm gonna do this so that I can snap the roof piece to that in an angle going up that way and it'll snap to the edge of that slant and then I can delete the wall underneath it because technically that brick right there even though it's backwards is holding it up so it's no it's not a floating roof piece even though you could never snap it that way I'm gonna build this roof here up a bit and I'm gonna continue the slant up over the little loft area which in a later segment will become our bedroom and then I fell to my death but it was fine and then I tried again because you have to keep trying again in this game ow that hurt I didn't even know where I fell from the universe so that's what it's looking like I think it looks pretty cool now I'm gonna throw in a stairs of course and then some decorations but more importantly than decorations crafting benches if people see your cooking station sitting there wedged against the wall they may be suspicious let's use the footlocker as a footlocker for once in our useless lives but anyway if they see that there but there's other crafting benches around they really won't give it a second glance so nothing hides this cooking bench better than all the crafting benches arrayed like this um, and the reason why I'm doing this before putting the roof on is because if you're working with a half wall slant roof like that anything you stick in there will pop up over and be on top of the roof uh, if it's too tall which is idiotic and speaking of idiotic this uh, spinning wheel refused to go down so I went over here put it down and then it just moved it back to where it wouldn't let me place it originally so that makes a lot of sense <clears throat> and then putting garbage around is uh, on the outside here is one of the ways to disguise what we have initially going on in here which is one of my favorite things to do if you have something kind of scrappy you know think it through there these people dig through garbage they recycle they they uh, are very green because they have to be and so you take what you find around you and you collect it now here's one that'll puzzle all those uh, scientists out there this roof piece refused to snap down for literally and I mean literally no reason um, I tried every trick in the book I thought initially that I was intersecting with this uh, atrium but it wasn't I tried different wall pieces. I tried moving the crafting bench away from there. I tried uh, putting an extra wall in there. And other roof pieces were snapping to that spot. Just not this one. Uh, and then I tried moving the coffins out of the way. Because maybe the roof piece was afraid of the dead body smell. And then I disconnected from server. But as you all know, that is a staple part of building in Fallout 76 
and if I didn't leave this step in it, would it really be a tutorial or would it be cheating? No, you gotta suffer like we all do. So I come back, everything's fine. And uh, I try shoving it in there again. And I s step on another firecracker berry, which of course disconnects me from the server. And then I try this ridiculously intelligent move of trying to snap it end to end. And that doesn't work either. And then I had a brainwave. The glass roof pieces, you can replace a flat with a slant. So I was able to put flat roofs in there, so I put a flat one in, replaced it. Oh, it's the wrong direction. I'll just spin it around. No big deal. No big deal. And uh, it's a little too high. That's fine. That's fine. I move it down, replace, and then replace again to the normal roof. And there we have it. Uh, now, this is one that will boggle the scientific community for years to come. There is no conceivable reason why that happened. But I was able to overcome it using ing ingenuity and, of course, the egghead serum, which grants you plus eight intelligence if you have strange numbers. Now, back to the scattering of refuse that we all enjoy so much. I mean, look at your bedroom. And this will really help sell the look that we're going for. Classic coolant is only $113.99 a gallon for a limited time. And if that's not a deal, I don't know what the fuck is. And then, Let's just take a look and see if there's any other junk we can... Let's put another spinning wheel down, make sure the legs are all touching the ground for fuck's sake. And immediately this says, we have junk that's unusable. Because if there's one piece of a, uh, equipment that you can place in your camp that's completely useless in every way, it's the spinning wheel in a world where sheep, if they do exist, would certainly not have wool because of the radiation. Let's put some ratty weeds around here, because why the fuck not? It's not like we have enough berries to step on and explode and cause damage with a uh, demolition expert max equipped or something. Let's put a shelf here. And I think this is probably the most fun part, is we're about to head inside and make a glorious piece of engineering beauty. So now we're inside, our entryway is completely hidden as far as uh, we care, and uh, let's build a wall out of bookcases because um, Todd hates us and we can't place walls on this exact foundation that we were just standing on. So what I'm going to do, because it's a pain in the bitch to line up, is I'm going to uh, line up two of them and I'm going to blueprint it. and then. For exactly no reason, I'm going to delete the two pieces I have and then rebuild them again with the blueprint and then stack them again. Now, while I'm working here, I think it's really important if you're going to uh, try to undertake this build, be very, very careful when you go to click on anything in here to scrap it because if you're not pointed at a piece, you are pointed at the atrium piece which means if you don't double check before you scrap anything because if you scrap that atrium doorway obviously you can't just replace it with all this junk built up inside here you you have to start over from scratch and that just pisses me off now with this blueprinted I'm just gonna go and place it around uh, like so and get it kind of lined up in a way that will please and astound the aesthetical look that we are going with and I'll be honest with you I had no idea where that sentence was going when I started it and I'm not too sure where it ended so you guys can let me know in the comments what the fuck I'm talking about but this we have one spin spun around to have kind of a, a bookcase that's sunken into the wall I'm gonna move this back so that there's a bit more floor space here uh, let's just make it be okay um, this doesn't have to win any fucking awards or anything. And this just pisses me off. 
So we're back yet again, and I think it's time to show you this finished product because you guys have suffered long enough, but not quite as much as I have, believe me. It's been an absolute treat to build this, but honestly, it's fun and it's not actually that bad if you think about it too hard. Um, it looks like someone made an atrium and then put a shack next to it because they couldn't be bothered to make an actual camp or because there wasn't enough room left. Both of those are true in many cases. But when you actually look inside it, which nobody will, because who cares about your dumb crafting benches? They'll come inside and, and they won't see it. But you will have this glorious little entryway into what is potentially the coziest fucking camp in Appalachia. So we have, of course, the sitting room, which is, I put a bunch of carpets up there for the roof. It took a year, so if you want to do that, that's fine. If you don't, that's also fine. Just uh, don't ask me to do it for you, because I will literally shoot myself if I had to do that again. Not actually, just a little bit. We have glorious, glorious uh, decoration in here, and of course, uh, let's go upstairs first. Uh, no peeking in the kitchen yet. Uh, this is like a little bedroom control area. I put glass around so we can see and so it opens it up a bit. I haven't unpacked yet so my suitcase is on the bed. I will take care of that later, Mom. Don't worry. Uh, and then if you come down here, the high ceilings help with that claustrophobic feel um, as well as the glass walls. But we've got that cozy little nook here. We've got a cozy little kitchen. Um, I kept the counter one counter wide for the uh, the bit that sticks out, an island I guess you can call it. And then of course we have an exit so that you can get the fuck out. And then you just walk out through the wall. It's easy as that. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys had a fun time doing it. Thank you so much to everyone who subscribed. And I will see you in the next video.